Welcome to Time Attack Mode Gaming. Today I've got a legendary farming technique for you in Fallout 4. This technique is using items from Wasteland Workshop DLC. Using these items we're going to create our own legendary farm. First you're going to need 100 units worth of water. I'm using 10 of these new pumps that can be put on land they each produce 10 units of water then I'm just gonna use the new fusion generator the reactor here and that gives you 100 units of power that's gonna be all the power we're gonna need for this you wanna keep your defense at zero Connect all these together, get them all powered up. Now, if you're looking for a nuclear material for either your water pumps or your generators, you can check out my, my quick tutorial on that. And that'll get you squared away on nuclear material. So after we've got all the water pumps hooked up, got our power going, Let's go ahead and build us some gunner cages. I'm gonna build about ten, ten cages here. Start putting them wherever you like. Here's a quick rundown of cages. If you want to pause your screen now, you can check that out. We're not doing anything special with this, just going to line them up. Using gunner cages, uh, gunners usually have really good loot. Easy cage to make, all you need is, is caps and resources to build one. Don't gotta go looking out for nothing. So that's 11. I built 11 gunner cages. Now you gotta power the cages. So we'll split it off from over here. not quite working we'll just split it off from a closer one here there we go let's run all these together a little trouble with that one went ahead and put a power pile on right there and just spidered it on out from that to this little corner here. And once you've got them all wired together, I went ahead and put a switch in between the power source and the gunner cages. That way I can open and close them if I like. Once they have a gunner inside of them, they will be closed and by turning the power off you will open the cages it can lead to some funny moments or if you just feel like killing eleven guys you know we're not going to be trying to catch legendary gunners in our cages though the point is to have all these gunners zero Another defense day, 100 water, 100 power, and then just start snoozing away. Sleep for one day. I've got a friend there when I wake up. Go ahead. I don't hear nothing going on. Let's go ahead and sleep for another day. Oh, she 
following me now, huh? That's nice. Okay. Still don't hear nothing. Or do I? I just want to trade a few no, things. Didn't hear nothing. There was a couple gunners in cages. So after 48 hours, I had about four gunners locked up in cages that had fell for the traps. And after 24 more hours... I already had gunners attacking the settlement. So it was real quick. And at least at least one of these guys attacking me is gonna be a legendary gunner. Sometimes you'll get two or three. It's just luck of the draw on that. I believe I only ran into one on this one. It was just the one legendary gunner. But uh, other times you'll get two or three going. Accidentally shot the settler there. It made it look good too, like it was an accident, right? Hey. Oh, man's dead, huh? So you can go out looking during the day, see the bodies easier. And that was indeed the settler I accidentally shot. But you can, you know, go over if you, it happens to... You happen to be attacked during night and you can't really see the bodies good to go loot them. Just wait till daytime. Bodies will still be there. You can go, go loot up. He always liked these potato plants. That's where he would want to be. You know, he also always liked this grill, though. Maybe he'd like to be on that grill. Oh! Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned to Time Attack Mode Gaming for more Fallout 4 tips, tricks, glitches, and comedy.